Hello, I'm James Clark from King's College London, and in this short video I'm going to show you how to carry out a three-way ANOVA in GraphPad Prism. While you would carry out a two-way ANOVA when you have one measurement variable and up to two nominal variables, you would carry out a three-way ANOVA when you have a measurement variable and three nominal variables. On the screen in front of you, you have an example of an experiment with one measurement variable, in this case VO2 max, and three nominal variables. These variables are laid out in a group table in the format shown on the screen. We have group A, group B, group C and group D. The nominal variables in this study are BMI and gender and whether the person smokes lightly or heavily. We have divided the data into the n of 3 groups with group A, B, C and D representing low BMI males, low BMI females, high BMI males and high BMI females. And on the rows we have indicated the light and heavy smoking variable. Once the experiment was carried out and the measurement variable taken, which was in this case VO2 max, we can plot a graph which shows the exercise, capacity of each of these subject groups, whether they have high or low BMI, or whether they are a light or heavy smoker. This requires a complex analysis, and the three-way ANOVA allows us to analyse this data set. So once you have entered and plotted your data, go to the data table, and in order to carry out a three-way ANOVA, we click on the Analyse button in the Analysis toolbar, and choose three-way ANOVA or mixed model from the group analyses drop-down box. By default, PRISM will select your groups. We have four groups and these four groups are selected. Once you have decided on the groups you wish to analyze, press OK. The parameters window for a three-way ANOVA has seven tabs and multiple choices and I will briefly run through what these are. The first two tabs are used for repeated measures design experiments. Since the experiment we are analysing is not a repeated measures design, we don't need to select any of these options. But just like the two-way and one-way ANOVA, which have repeated measures, we can choose here from the second section which factors are matching. For instance, we can say that values in the same row in columns A and C represent a match data set. Values in the same row A and B are a match data set. Or values stacked in subcolumns represent a match set of data. Since this experiment is not repeated measures, we don't need to select these options. In the second tab, we can choose further options whether we are going to do a repeated measures ANOVA or use a mixed effects model. If you want to know more about the mixed effects model, please read the PRISM help file. Once you have decided upon your repeated measures design, the Factors Names tab allows you to enter the factors that define your different nominal variables. We have organised our data so the low BMI numbers are in group A and B, with male in A and female in B, and the high BMA data are in group C and D, with male in C and female in D. Our rows are whether they are low or high smokers. Therefore, we must name our factors accordingly. The first box asks us to name the factor that defines how columns A and B differ from C and D. In the example we are doing here, A and B are both low BMI and C and D are both high BMI. So rather than AB versus CD, we enter low versus high BMI. We then need to label the factor that defines how columns A and C differ from B and D. Well, this is going to be male versus female. Finally, we need to label the row factor, and in this case, this is the degree of smoking, so low versus high smoking. Once we have defined our factor names, we move on to the multiple comparisons tab. Once you've carried out the basic three-way ANOVA, you have the choice of running multiple comparisons. 
Rather like a one-way ANOVA, you can choose which columns and which groups you compare to which other groups or columns depending on your experimental design. The options we are presented with is no tests, each cell mean with every other cell mean, control mean with all other cell means, any cells that differ by only one factor, and the cell mean in row 1 with the cell mean just below. Since I want to see whether smoking influences the effect of VO2, I'm going to choose each cell mean in row 1 with the cell mean just below. Beyond this, we have multiple options for the type of multiple comparison test we are choosing. Of course, we recommend you choose the recommended test, but you can choose from this drop-down list a number of other tests. I'm going to choose the SIDAC since it's recommended. Elsewhere on this tab, you can choose how the multiple comparisons are done, whether we plot a graph of confidence intervals, or show the cell, row, column and grand means. For this demonstration, I will show these means. Underneath here, you can choose how your p-values are outputted. Once you have made these decisions, you can choose whether to create a graph of residuals. And in the Consolidate Data tab, you can choose whether you combine A and B and C and D, or combine A and C and B and D for further sub-analysis. So for instance, after I've carried out this analysis, I might want to look simply at the control versus treated, or in my case, low BMI versus high BMA, or I may want to look at the males versus female data. On this occasion, I'm not going to do this, but it's a useful option to have. Once you're happy with the options you have chosen, simply click on OK to view your results. Just like the analysis itself, the results of a three-way ANOVA can be complicated. But since PRISM asks you to enter in text which describes each of your different nominal variables, it's very easy to read off the ANOVA results where your influencing factors are. For instance, if I highlight the section here that shows me the results of the ANOVA, we can clearly see that there is an influence of smoking, an influence of BMI, and an influence of gender on the outcome of this study. Once you are satisfied with this result, you can move on to the Multiple Comparisons window, which is the second tab in your results section. The Multiple Comparisons table will report the data as selected in the Multiple Comparisons option box when you chose which analysis to carry out. Since my main interest in this study, as I stated at the start, was whether smoking had an influence on the outcome, I limited my multiple comparisons to compare light versus heavy smoking in each of our groups. If I resize this window, you can see the summary of the data listed in the table below, which I've highlighted. You can see that the results of the SIDAX multiple comparison test shows that light smoker versus heavy smoker only in group B delivers a p-value of less than 0.05. If we go back to our data table, this means that it's only the light versus heavy smokers in the female population that are showing a statistical difference. So the take-home message from the results of this analysis are that smoking, in our study, only influenced the VO2 max of low BMI females and has no effect on low BMI males, high BMI males or high BMI females. So back to our results table. The final tab within the results table is our means comparison tab. This allows us to look at the means of all the data sets, so if you're creating a table to show in a report, this gives you a quick glance at all of the means. This table reports the means of all rows, all groups and all columns. So to summarise, the three-way ANOVA allows you to analyse your data when you have one measurement variable, in this case VO2 max, and three nominal variables, in this case BMI, gender or sex, and whether they smoke heavily or lightly. We enter our data table in grouped format and we can plot our graph directly from this table and carry out our three-way ANOVA directly from the same table.